Good morning. I'd like to welcome you to our digital classroom. I'm Jerry Winslet. And I'm Kevin Binkley. And today what we're going to talk about is um, commercial electric conversions. Uh, now this is, this is the, you know, this is a great program. It's a, it's a, it's, it gives you the ability to do these conversions quickly and easily. Uh, you can convert these things, uh, your, the heaters on the job site, at the warehouse, uh, and it, you know, it, it gives the customer um, you know, uh, a lot of different options while reducing your inventory. That's right. And you're able to, to, to just stock a certain amount of heaters, which is great. Yeah, you, basically with this uh, program that we've put together, you can stock nine heaters uh, and you can cover pretty much any sale in the commercial electric market. That's, that's a wonderful advantage because, um, you know, when the customer needs a water heater and needs an electric water heater, they need it now. Mm -hmm. And we're able to give them the configuration they need now, and that gives you a, a gigantic advantage. Um, you know, these, these, these kits are all UL approved. Uh, most competitors use a UL approved station. Mm -hmm. um, so this, is, this gives you, the, the kit is actually UL approved. So that gives us the ability to do it at the job site or in the warehouse, which is, which is wonderful. It makes you the place that they, they, they think of uh, when they're, when they're going to buy a new electric water heater, new electric commercial water heater. And, and you know, d distributors use this program um, that we're going to talk about to increase those commercial electric sales uh, and, and market share. The, oh, the, absolutely. We know for a matter of fact that it in increases the market share because, I mean, most areas they're going to have gas in the commercial, uh, you know, institutions, right. restaurants, stuff like that. However, there are pockets where the only thing available is commercial electric. And if you don't have the heater in inventory, even if it's a loyal customer, they're going to go down the road and they're going to buy it from the guy that has the heater in right. stock because chances are if it's leaked, they need it today. Right, yeah, and that's, this gives you the ability to do that and reduce that inventory. Now, um, let's talk about, you know, doing this program, you know, if we're setting it up, you know, is it a good idea to have one person uh, handle the, the, the kits and, and the inventory, or what would we recommend? Well, that's a good question, and what we would recommend is whoever's in charge of that, because they already have some familiarity with water heaters, they would be the one that also do the conversions uh, for right. us. Yeah, that would, that's a good idea to do that. So one person can handle the, the, the conversions and the inventory um, at one time, which is a good idea. Um, now, all of the, the MACB product, the electric water heater, electric commercials, uh, are um, field convert or they're convertible. So um, we're going to talk about field conversion now. Um, this allows us to change the water heater's voltage, wattage, and phase. Um, and in the kit, it will actually handle the, the voltage and the wattage. Mm -hmm. uh, the phase can be changed on the water heater, and we can, we'll talk about that in a moment. We're actually going to go over to the water heaters, uh, the you know, surface-mounted and the immersion thermostat uh, water heaters, and we're going to talk about how to do that. But um, the, the kit actually will handle the voltage and the wattage. Phase is going to be changed at the water heater. Um, and, you know, However many elements you have on it, if it's a three, six, or nine element heater, um, the one thing that you need to keep in mind is that you can't change the number of elements when you're doing the conversion. So I'll always remember that. Um, and all these heaters have a label on the door um, that will tell you what kind of uh, kit that you need to get for a certain conversion. Uh, if you're looking for a certain conversion and it's not on the label, then it's not available and that's something that uh, you cannot do. So. Um, if it's not listed on the label, it's not available. Uh, so let's, let's talk about this. You know, what comes with our kits? Well, that's a good question. Uh, what we ship out, out the is way. the main thing you're going to get is the elements mm -hmm. right here. And you're also going to get a set of instructions, okay? And you're also going to get a label that you're going to put on the rating plate that reflects that change. Okay. Because you don't want, you know, someone that may come behind you six months or a year later on a service call and not know that this change has transpired because this could lead them to put the wrong elements in the tank. Right, yeah, you need to put the label on when you're done with the conversion. That way they understand what's on, what, what has been done to the heater. That's a very good point. You don't want that, uh, to forget that step. That's a very important step. Well, when I do the conversions, what kind of tools am I going to use? Well, what you're going to need is you're going to need an inch and a half socket and a Phillips head screwdriver. I mean, that's really all you need to do these conversions. Okay, we're also going to need to lubricate the, the gasket on the heating element, um, and you can do that with hand dishwashing soap. That's right. Um, so that's a, that's a step that needs to be 
uh, performed when you're doing the conversion. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to go over to um, a couple of heaters over there and in Studio B, and we will uh, actually perform some of the, uh, the conversions on these heaters. So let's go over here. Come on with me. All right, we're here. Okay, so now this unit that we're talking about right now is a surface-mounted thermostat uh, unit. And um, this comes in three, six, or nine elements. Mm -hmm. So it, the one particular one we're talking about right now has nine elements. And you can, you know, um, can be converted to 208 volt, uh, 220, 240 volt, 277 volt single phase, uh, and 440, 480 volt on these particular, this particular unit. Um, now the door will specify um, what KW and voltage and, and phase needed for the conversion. So what you'll do, um, you know, what this heater can be converted to. So um, again, if the conversion kit is not on this door sticker here, then it's not available, all right? And remember, the number of elements cannot change. So if You've got nine elements, you've got to put nine elements in. We cannot change that. So the first thing we're going to do is de determine which kit we need, which uh, uh, part number is required, and then we're going to change the elements. Let's talk about changing out the elements. Well, this is our surface mount model. If you notice, each, each element has a thermostat. So the, the conversion process for this one is rather simple. Okay. Uh, all you're going to do, uh, and we already have these wires taken off this element, for TV purposes. Yeah, we already uh, did that. So. And then here's what you, all you're going to do is just then loosen that element. And you're going to pull it out. And you're going to, you know, put the, the elements in mm -hmm. uh, that you got in your conversion kit. Okay. Uh, and then you simply reattach the wires. And as far as converting the wattage and the voltage, you know, that conversion is complete. Okay, what about the phase? What if I'm going from three phase to single phase? Well, that's another good question. Uh, right now, this particular heater is set up for three phase on this terminal block. So all of our reds are going to be on the right terminal. Your blue and your yellow is going to be on the center terminal. And your blacks are going to be on the left terminal. But let's just say we needed to go single phase. Right. Uh, what you would do is you would move all the blues over with the black and then the reds over with the yellow. Now, we'll caution you on this if they've already run their, you know, their wiring and their breaker size, you know, for three phase, mm -hmm. they may have to, ch if they make that conversion because the amp draw could go up, they may have to change their wiring and their breaker uh, because of this. Okay, and, and all of this, you know, converting the phase is on a label on the door. It's right here. Uh, if you're looking, you've got three phase, uh, how that's supposed to be wired, and then you have single phase, how it's supposed to be wired. Uh, so just follow the labels on the door. It's going to tell you what kit you need uh, to go back over this. If you're if you're, you're converting, um, it's going to you'll find out which kit you need. Um, you'll take out the elements, put in the new elements. Um, then you're going to change the phase if needed, and you'll do that uh, on the heater. So it's a pretty simple process. And Absolutely. then the last step is, and you can't forget this step, is you're going to apply the sticker to your rating plate. Okay, you, you need to put the sticker on the, on the front of the rating plate. Um, that is a very important um, step when you're doing any kind of conversion because that tells us, um, or anyone that ever works on the water heater or does any kind of work on it, that, that someone has done a conversion um, and that sticker is going to tell us that. Uh, so that's a very important uh, piece that we can't, we can't uh, forget. So, you know, it's, it's pretty simple when it comes to surface mounted. Now let's talk about immersion thermostats, and, and again, we're going to have to kind of slide over here if you can follow us. This is our immersion thermostats uh, model. Uh, what is immersion as opposed to surface mounted? Well, the, the surface mount, that's, that's your down and dirty, that's your price point leader. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you don't have to have an exact temperature, you know, you can be plus or minus 10 degrees, uh, you know, that's the heater for you. That's because we're sensing temperature on the tank. That's with right. the surface mount? Okay. It's basically, it's sensing uh, temperature just like a residential electric would, except you have right. multiple thermostats. Okay. Well, on an immersion, you're actually using a thermistor, and what it will actually do 
is a, the tolerance on it is plus or minus two degrees. Uh, so, you know, especially restaurant uh, applications, things like that, you know, where they want a tight temperature control, right. they would, if they only had electric available, this would be a heater for them. Uh -huh. Beauty salons, right. uh, yeah. you know, that's another Unique good application. precise temperature control. In them. So, that's where you would sell this particular heater. Also, schools, right. because it has this feature up here. Uh, that's where you could uh, interlock and enable, disable with wow. a timer or building management. Mm -hmm. It's really popular with schools because they don't want to be paying to heat water when, when the no kids are there. Right. right. So, All right. just another feature that we have. Also, the diagnostics on this one are very fantastic because they'll tell you exactly which element has failed and the error codes okay. are in plain text English. Okay, so that's a great feature when we're talking about immersion thermostats. Um, and, and doing a conversion on this as well, you know, these are able, you're able to convert to 208 volt, um, 220, 240 volt, 277 volt, single phase only. And then we're talking about 48, 440, 480 volt. Um, again, the, the label on the door is going to tell us uh, what kit that we need to use to, to do the conversion. Um, and we keep saying the same thing, but it's true. The number of elements that aren't going to change. If, if the conversion that you're looking for is not on this label, it's not available. Um, so, you know, what we'll do on this one is we'll have to change out the heating elements, uh, which we'll do to, to do the conversion. Um, and then this has a, a transformer that actually um, helps power, you know, powers mm -hmm. the, the control system. So let's talk about the, the transformer and what would need to be done on that. We'd have yeah. to what we have here is we have a multi-tap transformer uh, that has a range of 208 to 480. And you can, if we can zoom in, I don't know how close we can get, you can actually even see the voltages on the sticker. So right now you can see we're set up for 208 volt on this transformer. All it's doing is stepping it down to 120 volts for our control circuit that actually pulls the contactors in and out. Uh, but let's say the, the, the job site needed to be 480. Well, all we're going to do, H1 is always going to stay at home. It's not going to move. But if we needed it to be 480, we're moving it all the way down to H5. And now it's going to be able to step that voltage down from 480 volts down to 120 volts. Very common mistake made. Uh, you know, in the field and in the warehouses, you know, the guys are so used to converting the surface mount models that they forget about the transformer. So what will happen, you know, typically is, you know, you run the wrong voltage to it. Either you don't have enough uh, voltage coming out of the, the secondary side of the transformer right. to pull in the contactors and they're chattering, yeah. or, you know, you could even blow the fuses here. Okay, so it's very important to tap the transformer when you're doing this. You, well, you have to really uh, in order for it to run properly. Uh, so, um, so that's... And, and then the last thing that you would do after you've done that is you go ahead and put your sticker on mm -hmm. uh, on the rating plate, which is, again, that is very, very important. So we're going to, if we're going to convert this unit, we're going to look and find the kit. We're going to order the kit, change the elements. Uh, again, if we have nine elements, we have to have nine elements. We can't change the amount of elements. Uh, if the kit we're looking for is not on our, on our door uh, sticker, then it's not available. And then the next thing we'll do is we'll have to tap the transformer, and then we're going to go ahead and put our sticker on after that. Uh, but the, the transformer has to match the line voltage, and, and we need to make sure that we're doing that properly, and then put our sticker on. Um, and I know we don't have one up here, but let's talk about two element water heaters, because uh, we do make those. Um, are, is there anything special that we would have to do with that? Well, it, we do make a light-duty commercial electric that just does have two elements. Uh, in the state brand, it's going to be the PCE models. Uh, and the conversion process for them is actually the exact same as the surface mount that we just did. Mm -hmm. All you're going to do is change an element. And if you need to change the phasing, okay, mm -hmm. uh, all you're going to do is just retap the uh, terminal block. It has one similar to this. Mm -hmm. um, after that, you're you're done. Okay. And also, too, it has a label uh, as well uh, mm -hmm. on the heater. If that kit that you need or that wattage and voltage configuration that you need is not on there, it's not available. Right. Uh, chances are you're going to have to go to a surface mount or this guy because the code actually requires that once you breach 48 amps that you have to go to a fused unit. Okay. 
All right, and so that's something that you really need to keep in mind. Uh, so it's pretty much the same. Um, and I know you've got different wiring configurations for it too, where you have uh, where both elements work at the same time or simultaneous, mm -hmm. then non-simultaneous. Uh, but that's all laid out for you in wiring diagrams that you can follow uh, pretty simple. Yeah, and if you have ever had a question about that, they could always call our commercial technical support team. This was a very common question, mm -hmm. um, and they could also uh, assist them in walking them through the process. Yeah, and that's a 1-800-527-1953 is that, that, uh, uh, that tech department, t department number. Uh, we also have a, a, an email address at help at hotwater.com. Uh, if, uh, if that's something that, that you're needing to do, you can just shoot us a quick email. Uh, that help at hotwater.com is actually the tech department's email address, and, uh, and you can you know, contact them that, that way as well. Um, so, you know, let's kind of go back over everything we talked about because this is the conversion process. Mm -hmm. um, so all the MACB, the MACB built products are uh, convertible, right? You that, know, that's electric. Correct. I don't want to say gas and then we're saying check gas pressure on electric well, water heaters. Th to simplify, everything that comes out of the MACB plant is going to be filled convertible for, for the electric. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, in general, everything that's a commercial electric other than rent and built products are going to be field convertible. Okay. Residential products are not field convertible. Okay, so, so they're field convertible. Uh, residential products just are not at all. So, okay. All right, so we got to keep that in mind. Um, and, and again, if the, the kit that you need is not on the door sticker, um, then it's not available. Again, we can't change the amount of elements that we're using. If we have three, we have to go with three. If it has six, we have to go with six. If we have nine, we have to go with nine. So we have to remember that. Uh, and on surface mounted, excuse me, immersion um, uh, thermostats, uh, those heaters, we've got to remember that we need to tap the transformer um, you know, with the, the correct line voltage. Uh, those are the, the steps that we're going to have to follow. And most everything is laid out uh, on the door so where you can follow it uh, pretty easy. But again, if you have any questions and need some help, um, then you can go ahead and call our 1-800 number. They'll be more than happy to help you and walk you through the process. Uh, do we have any questions uh, about what we just covered? No questions? Okay. All right, well, you know, that's, that kind of shows you how to go over the, the, the conversion process. I know it's kind of quick, uh, but that's basically it. I mean, if, uh, again, if you have any questions about anything we've just covered, you can email us at uh, live at hotwater.com um, about any of the shows that we've covered. Um, you can go ahead and, and email us on that. And, again, you can call the 1-800 number if you do have any questions. Uh, if you're in the field and the, that you need uh, some help doing this, uh, or if you're at the warehouse and you're converting a water heater and you need, need some help and you have a question, go ahead and call that 1-800 number. Uh, that's 1-800-527-1953. Um, or you can email them at help at hotwater.com. Uh, they'll be more than happy to help you with that. Uh, but for Kevin Binkley, I'm Jerry Winslet. Uh, we'll see you next time.